What's going on YouTube? Geosyn right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you on iOS 15. Falsa Escape for iOS 15 has been finished and it will be released very soon. This video is brought to you by Phone Rescue, a program that allows you to recover files from your iOS device, from backups or even from iCloud if you want to pull a specific file that you no longer have but you do have it on iCloud or a backup and so on. You can also repair your device if it's no longer booting and also remove the screen time passcode. Check the program out in the link below, it's Phone Rescue. So a couple of hours ago, BassVT, who has been historically developing the files that escaped for iOS 14, 13 and so on, has posted this, quote, back at it again, release very soon, hashtag files I escape with a picture of files that basically running on their device with the files I escape file created there. Now, as you can see, this file, which usually was created in the slash or the root, is now created in var, which means that this is indeed rootless. It doesn't have a remount, which means only the var partition is accessible for read-write purposes. The system partition is very likely readable, but not writable. So this will be a little bit more limited than it used to be in the past, but that's unfortunately something that iOS 15 brought. And until we have a proper remount for iOS 15, there will be problems with files escape, and even for Torin and Uncover, which will be rootless as well if they get released. Now this is apparently going to be released very soon and they are already seeking testers, as you can see over here, for iPhone 10 to 12. So if you have any of these devices in this range, you can definitely go ahead and contact BassVT and tell them that you have the proper device, maybe you will be able to help test this. Now there's no mention over here in their tweets, but I'm going to tell you which iOS versions it supports. It's very likely that this is based on the previously released iOS exploits for iOS 15.1.1 and lower, which means that it's very likely this will only work on iOS 15.1.1, 15.1, 15.0.2, 15.0.1 and 15.0. So basically nothing past 15.1.1 will be supported because there's no exploit available for the moment for anything newer than that. Once Torin jailbreak gets updated, this will no longer be needed because you will be able to install proper files directly from Cilio and Cydia and so on. But for now, when we don't have any jailbreak, break for iOS 15, this will be the very first thing that would basically give you some sort of jailbreak functionality. With this you will be able to browse the files on the var partition, do modifications to your application saves and files and whatever, and even change things around. There are a lot of tweaks that can be done by just modifying files inside the var partition. But do keep in mind that the system partition will not be writable at the moment. So once this releases I'm going to keep you updated, but yeah I just wanted to share with you the fact that this will be released and it has been achieved. So expect the files to be released in the very near future. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, peace out.